Hello friends, my name is Dr. Puru Dhawan and in this video we will talk about polycystic kidney. What are the causes of polycystic kidney? What are the symptoms of polycystic kidney? And what kind of complication a person see when a person suffers from polycystic kidney? And finally, in the end, what is the treatment for polycystic kidney? Everything will be discussed in this video. Before moving towards the causes of polycystic kidney, it's very important for our polycystic patient to understand why the polycystic kidney is happening in your body. Polycystic kidney is a genetic disorder in which your genes are programmed to form cysts over your kidney. Because of these cysts, what is happening is that there is a downward pressure towards the kidney where the filtration of the blood is happening. And because of this pressure, kidney is losing its function to filter waste material from the blood. Because polycystic kidney is a genetic disorder, we can't cure this disease, but we can manage the size of the cyst, we can manage the pressure which is causing damage to the kidney, we can manage the waste filtration power of the kidney because kidney has a special power to increase its function. I give you a very simple example. Now suppose if one person has donated one kidney to another person, now the person who has donated the kidney has single kidney, even after having single kidney, the ketonin urea doesn't raise now the question arises why this happens now the question arises how this happen out of two kidney one kidney has been donated only one kidney is working because kidney has special power to increase its function now we have to use this special power of the kidney in all kidney filler patient including polycystic kidney how we do that we will discuss in the end of the video there are few things which has to be noted in the case of polycystic kidney first thing is that these cysts are made up of fluid only these cysts are non-cancerous these cysts can be seen on the other part of the body also especially on the liver another important thing about polycystic kidney is that there is two type of polycystic kidney one is autosomal dominant where the one of the parent is also the patient of polycystic kidney another type of polycystic kidney is autosomal recessive where both parents are normal but they carry a faulty genes and when this recessive faulty genes come into the child, that child becomes the patient of polycystic kidney. When a person suffers from polycystic kidney, there is no sign and symptom in early years. But when the size of the kidney increases, it can be easily noticed with the help of ultrasound or CT scan. When the size of kidney increases, it causes pressure on the kidney, main kidney. And when the pressure increases, it causes damage to the filtration power of the kidney. And as the filtration power of the kidney goes down, waste metal start accumulating in the body and these waste metal causes symptom in a body when the size is increasing only the person can feel bulkiness heaviness pain around abdomen or back but when the filtration power decreases and accumulation of these waste metal creates a lot of sign and symptom in the body worst thing about the sign and symptoms of kidney failure is that they are very general that's why they remain unnoticed for a very long period of time symptoms like weakness anemia high blood pressure froth in urine muscle cramp if such kind of general symptoms are coming in a patient of kidney failure it's very easy for a doctor or a patient to ignore such symptoms that's why in almost all type of kidney failure including polycystic kidney the disease remain unnoticed till the fourth stage of kidney failure <laughs> Diagnosis of polycystic kidney can be easily made with the help of ultrasound. If the ultrasound report shows that the size of the kidney is enlarged and that it contains large, large amount of cyst over it, that means you are with a patient of polycystic kidney. Along with ultrasound, CT scan MRI can be also be done. Now let's move to the treatment part of polycystic kidney. If we want to treat a polycystic kidney patient, if we want to decrease the level of kidney in urea in a polycystic kidney patient, we have to start the treatment with the cyst only. Cyst is mainly made up of fluid only. If we have to increase the drainage of these fluids so that the size of the kidney can be reduced. Once the size of this cyst decreases, what happens? The pressure which is causing damage to the kidney also decreases. And when the pressure of this cyst decreases, kidney regains its function and what are the function of the kidney to filter out the waste material from the blood so the level of kidney in urea goes down as the kidney regains its functions so in each and every patient of polycystic kidney primary objective is to decrease the size of cyst other objective is to increase the kidney function because kidney has that special power as I told you earlier. We have to work on the kidney function because as a function of the kidney increases, the power of kidney to filter waste material from the blood also increases and as this power increases, the level of kidney in urea goes down. Because this disease is a genetic disorder, that's why we can't cure this cyst. We can't cure this polycystic kidney, but we can easily fight the disease if we work on a proper line of treatment. 
Only we have to do is that we have to increase the drainage of the cyst so that the fluid which is accumulated in that cyst can be easily drained out and the pressure of that cyst goes down. Now I hope you understand polycystic kidney better than before. You know the sign and symptom, you know the causes, you know the treatment also. If you have any kind of question regarding polycystic kidney, you can simply call our doctors on the number given below and you can also book an appointment with me on the same number. With this, allow me to say goodbye. See you in the next video.